This has just arrived in the mail, so let's open it. Look at that, Amiga 500 Mini. Awesome. Okay, it comes in a nice little box in the wrapped in paper, wrapped in plastic. Let's just rip it out. and see what we've got. Okay, there's a little, a little tab that we need to cut there. There we go. Retro Games, the A500 Mini with 25 Amiga games. AC adapter not included. Look at that. This is very dinky. So, plastic case, this looks exactly like an Amiga 500. And so it should. It comes with a quick start guide, cardboard tray. gamepad and a mouse and that's all there is in it. So the unboxing videos that came out early showed a nice spiral bound user manual but it does not look like we get that which is a shame really because that looked like a really nice manual at least from the videos that I saw. This is the tank mouse, which is a laser style, slightly thinner cord than is usual. And this is HDMI cable. And this is the CD32 style joypad. Let's take it out of its plastic bag. The A500 Mini. And a USB-C cable. This will be for power. Fortunately, I've got a USB charger lying nearby, so that will facilitate plugging it in. Okay. So, the manual to five... Well, it's 26 pages, but four pages only are in English. So, really, I would say this manual is not really worth the effort, to be honest. Because what it tells you is basically plug it in and go. And that's exactly what we are going to do.
Now I have to figure out where to plug it in terms of the TV, so that will be a moment or two. Let's just take all these little bits of wire wrapping off. Okay, now on the back we've got USB-C, HDMI and three USB-A ports. There's no WHDC load GoTech style thing in there, which is a shame. The keyboard is very nicely printed, but it's just dummy for show. It actually feels reasonably heavy. Serial number If you can see that, 905. Okay, so you can plug the joypad into one USB. the mouse into another USB. The power into that USB. And already we've got the traditional rat's nest, which we've come to know and love. Okay, and finally the HDMI goes into there. Right. I shall go and plug in the other end to the TV. No, I should be back in a second. Just for comparison, I grabbed an Amiga tank mouse that is waiting to be cleaned and played with. Put them side by side and you can see that the the Amiga 500 is somewhat smaller than the actual original. It's less yellow as well, but that's because it's new. Okay, let's turn it on. Power light comes on. Okay, now I was never very much of a gamer back in the day, so most of these games are gonna be somewhat new to me, but. Okay, Alien Breed 3D and Alien Breed Special Edition. Another World, Arcade Pool, All Terrain Racing, Battle Chess I've actually heard of, and I've played it, Cadaver, California Games, I'm aware of that, I'm aware it's on all sorts of platforms, but I've never played it. Chaos Engine, no, I'm not familiar with that. F-16 Combat Pilot, yes of course. Uh, football, last we, the last we see of that, the better. Lost Patrol, Paradroid, Pinball Dreams, I used to have this on the CD32 back in the day. It was one I actually enjoyed. Project X, Quack, The Sentinel. I remember that, I certainly played that one before. Simon the Sorcerer, Speedball 2. That's uh, Bitmap Brothers, but I've never played it. Stunt Car Racer. Supercars 2, Titus the Fox, Worms the Director's Cut, Zool, 
I never played Zool. I think it came out after I'd gone over to the PC. Alien Breed 3D. And we're back again. Okay, before we start playing with that, let's just have a look at some of the options, menus, display options. Fixed size, moderate zoom, screen fit. We'll start with the defaults, I guess, to start with and see how it gets us on. System options. I'm going to select that because I don't know what normal behavior, normal Amiga behavior is. So that will be interesting to see. And the, I presume there's just one light LED. Language, advanced options, television settings, 50 hertz output. System information, build Manhattan 1.00, strange 12th of the 11th, 2021. Legal notices, all that good stuff. Okay, so. A to start a game. Now, I'm not going to be any good at any of these, so... Let's go for some pinball. Okay, we get the idea. I've never even heard of Quack, so let's give that a go. You can tell I'm no good at these things, can't you? Okay. Start 
stunt car racer. Okay, you're not figuring the controls out yet, but... Okay, let's try some of the uh, screen options. So that was fixed size, let's try moderate zoom. Oh, I appear to be shot. Okay, let's go for screen fit. What should we try this time? Speedball 2. And this also supports WHD load, so you can put other games onto a USB stick and plug that in and play them as well.
There. You can tell I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm sure in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing this is going to be a great game. No idea what those discs are. Get ready. Okay, there we are. Well that's the Amiga 500, or oh, sorry, the A500. Little dinky Amiga, tiny thing. See you next time. See ya.